beauties! Uh, the makeup look that I'll be doing today is also for my Monster High series and it's inspired by Laguna Blue. So I've placed this gorgeous turquoise glitter on the lid. The yellow rhinestones are supposed to represent her jewelry. And then she has this pink flower in her hair that I also made with rhinestones. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let's get started. I've already applied a primer and I'm going to cut my crease using this light blue eyeshadow by Inglot in number 371. I start drawing the line at the inner part of the eye right above my crease and I'm following the natural shape of it. And then when I come at the outer part here I draw this round shape and go back down to the lash line. Here, I'm bringing that color upward. Then, I'm packing on a little bit more of the blue with a small shader brush. I'm going to blend out the crease with this mint eyeshadow by Sugar Pill called Mochi. For my brow bone highlight, I'll be using Inglot's eyeshadow in number 353. I'm also using mochi all over the lid and this will be the base color for the glitter that I'll be applying later. At the inner corner of the eye I'll be using this yellow by Makeup Geek called Lemon Drop. Along my lower lash line, I'll be placing this pink called Gianna by Violet Voss. To line my eyes, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Super Liner in Carbon Gloss, and this time I'm not going to do a winged liner. Now it's time for the glitter. Uh, this one is by Pixie Dust Cosmetics and it's called Turquoise. First I'm applying the Violet Boss Glitter Adhesive. And then I'm placing the glitter on top. I'm applying it with a tiny nail art brush nearest the cut crease. Next I'm going to use these yellow rhinestones that I bought on eBay and I'm placing them along the outer half of my crease. To help them stick I'm applying eyelash glue. Now I'm going to use these pink rhinestones and I'm placing them around this yellow one. And now you have a cute pink flower. I'm filling in my lower waterline with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm setting it in place with Sugar Pills White Eyeshadow called Taco. Now I'm applying the Inglot Full Stash Effect Mascara. For full stashes, I'll be using these ones called Femme Fatale by House of Lashes. This is the completed eye makeup.
Now for my face, I'm first going to do some contouring and I'll be using this shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Next, I'll be applying Cabana Boy by The Balm, which is a gorgeous pink blush. To highlight, I'll be using this shimmery shade from the Contour Kit. On my lips, I'm going to apply a little bit of this Kardashian Beauty lipstick in Shocking Pink. Okay guys, so I hope that you liked the look and as always I'll link to all the tutorials in my Monster High series down below if you want to check those out and I'll also list all the products that I've used in this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon, bye bye!